Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Cloudergy from Kilo23. I've been on the lookout for some goggles lately that I can start using at night games. With mesh, it's a little harder to use at night. You can't see as well, and your image is kind of darker when you're seeing. So I've been on the lookout for some goggles that won't fog, will protect my eyes, and are pretty inexpensive. TinyWind.com is super kind in sending me the FMA Ballistic Ski Goggles. And these, they're pretty cool, they're not bad, and they're a good price. So we're going to be checking these out today and see if they're going to fog up and if they'll protect your eyes. These are the FMA OK Ballistic Ski Goggles, and they run about $24.79 on tinywind.com. I've got a link right here, you can go check them out. There's also more info in the description. Not a bad price at all, you can use the coupon code AST10 to get 10% off these as well. So first let's talk about the build quality. They run about $24, $25 and they're, they're about that price range as far as the build construction. It's not the greatest in the world, you can pay a lot more and get much better goggles, but for $25 bucks, they are really not that bad. The construction of these is decent, they can definitely use some touch up work though. They are well ventilated on the top and bottom. You've got little foam inserts in here, and I think one of them's starting to come out, so I do need to glue that back in. The back of this actually has a foam layer here, and it's got an adhesive strip to keep it on. And a little bit of it is starting to come off a little bit, so I'm going to do some super glue or epoxy on that and touch it up and make sure it's all solid on here. One thing I noticed is that my nose in the middle and the bridge here sticks out a little bit more, and it contacts the middle here where the nose piece is. And that is starting to wrinkle a little bit just from a little bit of use. So my guess is this could maybe crack over time, or it might need some repair over time too. Of course this is going to be held on your head by an elastic band. And right out of the package it was actually really secure on my head, didn't really need to tighten it or loosen it or anything, it was not bad out of the package. And on the inside of the band you actually get this kind of rubberized ring on here, and it'll stay really, really clinged on to the back of your head, or a helmet, or a balaclava, or shamog, or whatever you have wrapped around your head. Now, the goggles themselves for the price range that they're in are pretty decent quality. They come with two different lenses, you can swap them out. This is the light lens you can see through much more easily, and so can my camera for that matter. It also comes with a dark lens. The dark lens will come installed, and I noticed this is a little bit harder to see through, and I wanted to test the fogging later on, so I went ahead and installed the lighter lens so the camera could pick it up better if that happens. Uh, to basically remove your lens, you do have to pull the goggles apart kind of and kind of slowly snap them in and make sure everything fits. It's a bit of a cumbersome process, so I recommend you only do it once or twice ever because uh, it can take a few minutes to do it. Now the goggles also come with a fiber cleaning cloth that's got the FMA logo on here, which is kind of cool. I found this is actually very helpful. The lenses themselves, especially the, uh, the lighter lenses, they really smudge up a lot, especially when you have to change the, uh, the lenses out. And so you're getting a lot of fingerprints on these, so this removes the fingerprints and consequently a lot of hair, <laughs> which actually builds up on these rather fast, I'm kind of surprised, uh, pretty well. So this is a definite must when, uh, when keeping these clean. Now lastly, your goggles are going to come in a little hard case here. This is fantastic for shipping because these are probably going to be coming overseas from tinywind.com, and it's going to protect them pretty well. It is a little squishy here, but it'll protect them well enough. And it's pretty soft inside too, I'm not too worried, it's got kind of a... Um, really nice soft inside here. This is great for transportation as well, so you need to put these in your backpack or something without scratching them up. This is a good one. Next, let's go ahead and test that these are actually going to protect against your eyes. Now I'm using a KWA USP gas pistol with 0.32 gram rounds in it. It's a small smudge on there where that actually hits. There's a little ding, and these are uncracked, so it's fantastic. Now, you shouldn't have to worry about people actually walking up and shooting you in the face point blank like that. That's insane for airsoft. But just in case you've seen, this will survive a point blank shot with a casual gun with a heavy BB in it. Now, you're probably wondering, do these goggles fog up? And the answer is yes. Just like every goggle, they do fog up at some point. I tried to get myself as uh, sweaty as possible so I could try to simulate how I'd be sweating on the airsoft field. And I went and ran around the local park here, and I took about 30, 40, mud, five minutes, walked, jogged, ran. And it was about a 70 degree day, so about average temperature. So, you know, some days, depending on where you're located in the country or in the world, it might be hotter, it might be colder, it just depends. So let's go ahead and talk about the, uh, the fogging and how long it can take and how the goggles deal with that. Now I'm going to speed this up quite a bit, I'm not going to make you guys watch a full half hour plus of me walking around and looking at different things, because that's really boring.
But suffice it to say, uh, these goggles actually did not fog for the most part during my walk here. A couple of times they did fog a little bit near the top. It's a little difficult to see with a camera angle here, but slowly but surely you'll maybe see it fog here a bit on the top. It's because I was really sweating in my forehead a lot and that section was exposed to the top of my head there, my forehead. And with that going on, uh, it did fog a little bit. But a light breeze would come around every 5-10 minutes or so and clear that up pretty quickly. By the end of the walk, the goggles had not fogged at all. They were pretty clear and they were working well and I was sweating like a pig out there. So as you saw, the goggles do fog up, but over time a wind could come around, you can blow into them, and they tend to defog pretty quickly. The ventilation's really good on these goggles, so you shouldn't have any worries there. Uh, they do fog a little, up a little bit from perspiration, but it's nothing you can't wipe off or go back to respawn or your staging area and put some, uh, some anti-fogging solution in or something like that. And these goggles that do just fine. Now, the question is, what grade am I going to give it? I give everything a review now a number grade, 1 through 10. 1 being, oh, forget it, don't worry about it. And a 10 being, go out and get it, don't even worry about the price. I'm going to give these a 7. Build construction is pretty good. You know, $25, it's pretty hard to beat for a goggle of this kind of quality. It's good, it's not amazing, but it's within the, you know, the lower budget price range for goggles. Again, these goggles will fog up over time, but they will ventilate it so they will defog at some point. And they could use a little bit of construction touch-up because I found a few places on them the foam was kind of coming off, so bear that in mind. And of course they are going to protect against a casual airsoft gun that is close range if some crazy dude decides to light you up a couple inches away. So you'll be fine with that. 7 out of 10. Not bad goggles. Again, link in the description for tinywind.com if you want to check these out. The FMA OK Ballistic Ski Goggles. I'm Prodigy from Kilo23. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm always got more reviews coming, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, and take it easy.